We are Citizens Bank Park. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. We're going to go in. We're going to do a quick lap around the main concourse. I will be going in the Robin Roberts entrance. You can be, uh, there are ticket windows here. Most tickets are sold by the MLB app. So... Don't be an asshole. Have your app ready. Have your ticket open. Let's get ready to go watch baseball. Let's go. You want to buy a program or get a scorecard? They have these guys here. They're here for the first, like, before the game starts and up till about the uh, first or second inning. There were little tiny stores all throughout this concourse. The main store for the Philadelphia Phillies is down a bit, but if you want to go in here, they have a little spot where you can go and get hats, t-shirts, and, uh, you know, the big thing here, lots of Philly fanatic stuff. Teddy bears. Fanatic in glasses. The fanatic pillow pad. That was, every kid in Philadelphia had that in 2008. There you go. Okay. In the summertime, that's a good spot to go in and cool off there's a little bit of air conditioning in there there are stands that are open air and then there are stands that are built into the stadium if you want to get a hot dog or a sausage and you want to watch the game the best way to do that is at stands that face the field uh, hot dogs beer beer it's mostly a lot of alcohol and then there's some specialty products on the side here. You get your Philadelphia water ice. Uh, here's a little tip. If you want to get water ice, get it on the first, second, or third inning. After that, the water ice stands get long. Water ice stands line get long. Uh, the secret to everything, get here early. I'm here an hour before the game starts. As you see, not many lines. Now these stands that, that have like South Philadelphia, that they don't have like a store name or a brand name, these are stands run by R Mark, which is like, uh, this, the Phillies run it basically. So hot dogs, cheesesteaks, nachos, uh, no, not cheesesteaks, some have cheesesteaks. This has hot dogs and nachos, regular ballpark beer, ballpark food. They also have cups that you can get. They have cups that refill, and these are $8.99, and you get one refill per door game, or you can get one cup, which is, what, what's this cup, like six bucks? The small one? Yeah. Yeah, six bucks. So for uh, like two bucks more, you're better off getting that, and plus that's a fantastic cup to take home with you. Lots of water. I drink a lot of water out of those cups. There's another beer stand. Now, if you see a, a liquor stand with white on it, that symbolizes hard liquor. You can get yourself some hooch, uh, 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 scotch, double scotch on the rocks will cost you 20 bucks. Inside here is a, uh, an elevator section where you could go on that elevator, go up to the third floor if you have the fancy seats, the Hall of Fame club. Uh, they have a great spot where you could take a picture with Bryce Harper. That's the game I left early when he hit the Grand Slam. And then they also have the game on TV. Uh, so you can watch the game, but this is a great place to warm up and cool off in the summertime Not really today's gonna be a day you warm up. It's cold today This is one of the few specialty places that's inside the stadium a lot of the specialty places are out in the outfield in Ashburn Alley This is Colby Southern Kiss Chicken and the owner or one of the owners of this place is uh, Ryan Howard, the uh, former Philadelphia Philly. Here's another little tiny small store. This is more of a retro store. They have like a very cool, like this old retro jersey. Where's the, they have like John Cruck jerseys in this section. And anything with the retro P they have is and again a lot of baseball caps every Philly stand has baseball caps there's more Philly fanatics get yourself a beer cozy you know what I'm not seeing this year the Philly fanatic headband that was like the most popular item a few years ago uh, they usually have this open this is like a VR thing where you could 
put on a VR mask and play baseball. Not open right now. This is the gluten-free stand. Uh, I make a point of it whenever I walk by. Uh, I like to point out that there's never a line at the gluten-free stand. I believe that's the first time I've ever seen anybody buy anything from the gluten-free stand. Guest, guest services is right over there. If you take a kid to a game for the first time, you go up to guest services and say, hey, this is my kid's first game. They'll give you a certificate and they'll give you a pack of baseball cards. This is a birthday check-in. If you have uh, $10, you go up here and you can get your name written on the scoreboard before, uh, during the fifth inning. If you give them $20, you get a free cap, which is this cap here, and a birthday cake. And if you do this a day or two before you come to the stadium, you can set up that you get your name on the scoreboard, you get a hat, and then they'll, then they'll sprinkle some confetti on your head for $10 more. This is the uh, plant-based diet. <laughs> so they got the gluten-free stand and the, the plant-based whatever. So this is probably a good spot to get beer. Uh, they sell an artificial cheesesteak for $16. You could buy a regular cheesesteak for $13. Shake Shack, a Shake Shack will set you back a double burger for $11.99. A single will be $8.99. You know what's good about that? If you go to a Shake Shack, that's pretty much close. That's what they charge at the store almost, you know? So it's not outrageous stadium prices. Uh, there's some more booze. There's a dipping dot stand, but we're gonna go in here. This is passing snow. This is a uh, little restaurant type place. $16 sandwiches. You get your beer heated, air conditioned, when the, whatever the season calls for. Very nice. They got the music playing, so I'm just gonna. Keep if you come in through the first base gate, they have a. Some stuff you could take pictures with. You got your photo opportunity here, Alan. And then over here a little bit, they got the, uh, you got the Doc Holiday Memorial right here. And if you wanna, um, you know, if you wanna give uh, Coca-Cola a free ad, they got this big chair. It's just a bench with a high back. Take that, right? Uh, sometimes they got stuff going on in this section. If it's like Star Wars night, there'll be people hanging out. Uh, like for example, it's it's a, a retro Thursday, throwback Thursday. So they have the Philly Fanatic here. You could take a picture. It's not the real Philly Fanatic, but you could pretend. If you walk the stadium in this direction, if you look up, they will have the current roster. Uh, so you got Alec Bohm, D.D. Gregorius, Gregorius. But if you go in this direction, they have pictures from the Phillies past. There's uh, uh, Richie Ashburn, and you go down there, there's some more Wiz Kids pictures. But all throughout the stadium, there's always stuff to see and do here at Citizens Bank Park. If you want to buy some game-used merchandise, they have this section here where you could buy Balls, bases, game used jerseys. If even if you want to buy bases for the game you're at that day, if you come here, they'll have the first, the first, second, and third base will be on sale at the third inning. You come up here and buy them. But yeah, game worn jerseys, bases, little tiny pieces. It's 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 a you got mystery bags. It's a, it's a world of wonder here. This is the team store. Uh, this is a very rare occasion where the team store line is short. So we're going to sneak on in here, give a high five to Luke. And we're just going to say, let's go, Phil. No, we're going to get the brooms out today let's do your video again. You're in it right awesome, now, Luke. Man. Good to see you. Good Josh. to see you, Luke. Wheeler today, right? All day. Wheeler well, on the hill. Hill, seven innings. Get the brooms out before we hit the road for the weekend. I want seven oh, innings, Luke. What's up, Luke? That's Luke. Whenever you come to the uh, team store, give him a high five and say, go, Phil. Makes his day. Makes my day too. <laughs> it gets me all excited. So yeah, t-shirts, jerseys. Uh, there's a lot of hats over there. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get here. Yeah, see, they got the jackets out. How much are these? 
Yeah. You could buy a game used uh, jacket for a few uh, bucks more. All right, go Phils, Luke. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. I got the brooms. This is the self-service section. Uh, I can't believe this is a thing. Well, I tell you what, it, it might be a good thing because I used to work at the stadium. So I know how stadium employees are kind of jerk-offs. So if you don't want to deal with jerk-offs, you come in here, you get your self-service. It's like a, a corner store. You get your soda, your beer, bing, bang, boom, you're out. This is a place they make donuts and chickens. You can get a donut for $6. That's outrageous. The chicken sandwich is $10. I would get the chicken sandwich. The donuts at the donut place, I think they're like three fifty, dollars so that's not too bad. If you haven't bought one or tried one, I guess, why not? Tables and benches and anything you want to sit on, you can sit on. You can actually get this bench. You want to bring it up here? No problem. Bring it up here. You can sit here for the whole game. Uh, I, I buy standing room only tickets. Um, so I'm not really supposed to sit anywhere, but there are many opportunities to sit in this stadium. All right. If you get here when the stadium first opens on night games, you can catch a little bit of batting practice, not a lot. So just, just be warned about that. A lot of people like the batting practice. This is Harry Callis former broadcaster of the Philadelphia Phillies. He is very famous for saying, out of here. He also uh, was the voice of NFL Films for a long time. Hot dogs, burger fries, and ice cream treats. Um, the big thing in this place is the, the peanut butter or jelly burger. And that's gonna, if you get that in a large can of beer, $27, so it's $14 for that sandwich. There's Greg Luzinski. There he is. He's there to greet the fans and say happy. Happy baseball day. So that's what, uh, and this is Bull's Barbecue. The reason why it's called the Bull Barbecue is because that man is the Bull, Greg Luzinski. Uh, you take your kid there and he'll take a picture. He'll take a picture with you. And, uh, you know, <laughs> He, uh, he never smiles. Grumpy Greg, we call him. This is the left field entrance. They say that because of... Well, it's the left field, and they have Steve Carlton. He's lefty. So, uh, it all makes sense. They got a thing for Jackie Robinson. Those are all the uh, banners, pennants, pennants, banners, pennants, whatever. And they got some more photo opportunities. There's the World Series trophy. There's Mike Schmidt. If you want to take a picture with the Mike Schmidt number, I'm sure it's better than taking a picture with the real Mike Schmidt because I met him once and he was kind of a jerk. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, they have like all the Phillies greats like Mike Lieberfall. I don't know how he got on there, but he's there. Uh, there's the bull. And uh, I think that's the most I've ever seen Greg Lazinski smile. There's the Richie Ashburn number. Now we're getting ready to go on to what they call Ashburn Alley. This is it, folks. If you're coming to this ballpark and you haven't set foot in Ashburn Alley, uh, you miss bumping into a lot of people, but you also miss the specialty foods. There's also a little tiny gift shop where blankets and hoodies are gonna be the number one selling items of the day. Okay, I got the jackets out. Where's the blankets? Everybody needs a blanket today. There's the hats. Some more hats. There we go. I gotta get that Bryce Harper pet. Go out here. There's another water ice stand with a beer stand. If you look on the ground here, they have all of the All-Stars divided by section. So these are the right-handed pitchers of the Phillies who made the All-Star team, like Brad Lynch. There's left-handers. I can't, I bet you there's a million Steve Carlton's. Steve Carlton, Steve Carlton. Cliff Lee, Cole Hamels, Tug McGraw. 
So yeah, all down in this brick section, you can see that. PJ Willihan's, they're a wing, wings place. They make your the wings to order, so it takes a little bit to get them, but they're really good. This is Tony Luke's. This is one of the Philadelphia cheesesteak places. It's one of the more famous ones that, um, it's pretty good. Just so you know, the real Tony Luke's is about a mile that way. Um, so if you want to, I don't know if it's that much of a difference. I'm sure there is a little bit if you want to try that. That's Richie Ashburn. We are men's room right here. This is the bullpen. You come down here and you can just, you know, talk hey, trash. Listen, guys, I'm not really sure if the Sixers are going to win or lose. So if you guys get swept today, it would really make a good day for me and for most of the Philadelphia people. Please, just do me a favor. It would help out my vlog. I'm like Zach Hempel, but I don't knock over toddlers trying to catch foul balls. All right, boys. And get the hell out of here with the cold weather. I blame you guys. This is the uh, Manco and Manco Pizza Shop. This is a very, very short line. Um, that's like the shortest line I've seen for that place. It's also, I think we're going to be a late crowd today because of the weather. Campos is another cheesesteak spot. Um, I think I've had... I've had Tony Luke's and I've had Campos in the stadium. They're very similar. So whatever line's smaller, I guess is the way to go. There's a, you want to get some hooch? There's the uh, Jim Beam section. Also, not really a long line in this spot if you're looking for beer. Uh, Chicken and Pete's. This place is famous for their crab fries. You see that? That's a French fries with Old Bay seasoning. And then they give you a little cheese, a little cup of cheese sauce. And these kids are in a bad spot. A um, little the cup of white American cheese sauce. You dip your uh, French fries in that, and guess what? You got yourself a $13 treat. This is the yard. Uh, this is a section where if you have kids, this is a great spot that all the activities in this section are free. Uh, the kids can play wiffle ball. You can play a little bit of wiffle ball here. Uh, if you want, you can shoot a hot dog machine. Very exciting. Uh, they have a rock climbing wall. And again, man, lines for all this stuff. Very, very short. Let's try this again. Listen. Last time I did this, I hit 38. 37. Okay, that's good. 42. Wow, big time. 43. It doesn't get any better than that. This is the ice cream stand in Ashburn Alley. And the uh, little secret. The cheapest hot, hot dogs in the stadium three dollars here there they are all right we're back at it now if your kid plays wiffle ball i think they take a picture see the the lady with the ipad what she does is she's taking the picture wow home oh the wind um so she takes a picture on her iPad, and then they come over here and they print out a picture. So you have a little uh, keepsake memory. This is the right field section, and just like the left field Luganagel section, there are benches and chairs for you to sit at. Um, Bryce Harper plays in this section. So if you want to see Bryce Harper every game, before the game starts, he runs up and does like a bow and like pumps his fist. It's a pretty cool thing to see. If your kid's into Bryce Harper, I highly recommend it. Uh, another big booze section here. There you go, some memories of the past. They got this Phillies P, which is a photo op. Now, uh, when the games are slower, they don't have every stand open. You can tell it's gonna be a slower game today. And we're going to end this at uh, 
I think one of my favorite stands in the entire stadium is Hunt Auctions. And what they do here is they have game used merchandise, autographed photographs, autographed baseball cards, and you can get like Ryan Howard cleats, um, game used for I think they're seven hundred bucks. Um, or you can get a Mike Schmidt autographed bat for three sixty five. But the coolest thing, I think this is the coolest thing in the entire stadium, is they have this uh, place thing from like, what are they called? It's from a, a diner. And uh, Babe Ruth signed it. It says, keep them flying. And uh, you can get that for the small price of $13,000. And uh, that's it. We did a lap. That's a quick lap around the concourse of Citizens Bank Park tips and tricks get here early and uh do all the stuff at the stadium before the game starts that way when the game starts you already have eaten you had a good time and uh, you can enjoy the game uh that's it well make sure you hit like and subscribe and i'll sail with you later doodles <laughs>